hello guys we are back and now let's try a uh, customer so uh, like uh, so basically so basically this is my uh, like new live stream because the live stream earlier i started i was uh, doing a live stream on a new software which i was just trying to see if it works or not but it turns out that uh, if the software doesn't support the support the display capture where we can uh, record the whole screen so i think uh, it was a bad idea just to choose that software now yeah so now i think we are just back to obs yeah it's not bad option like obs is great we are uh, it's free and open source yeah so today i will just work on the I'll, i think i do i'll just update the which live stream also like uh, just to change the title let's do that and i have to also update the display capture and not that one where it is we know yeah now i need to go to the dashboard okay so yeah i you can see my face now that's great the beautiful face <laughs> Nice. Okay. Mm. So, what should be the title? The title can be uh, creating new overlay for Twitch stream. Oops. Twitch stream. Yeah. That's a nice one. <coughs> so we can update the title. Nice. Now I will jump back to stream elements. I'm using stream elements for the for like most of the stuff. Uh, maybe uh, it's a what's called it's a, maybe a timer chat timer or maybe uh, some kind of a modules like i think it's a new feature um, i am just trying that new feature yeah and not to mention the the custom commands uh, which are very helpful like for example uh, i will just type a command in the chat and by the way guys let me know if the if there is any problem with the stream uh, i think uh, there is a bit of fluctuation in the in the bitrate yeah okay so i was saying that uh, with the custom commands like if i just uh, add this uh, custom command like uh, with a uh, with the exclamation mark twitter and then uh, then the bot will send a message and that's nice okay so uh, i will just try to create a a custom overlay i because i don't prefer the pre build overlay because they are too fancy uh, i just uh, prefer to keep a simple one yeah now let's create a new blank overlay Uh, on my obs uh, like even the stream is uh, at more than 200 uh, bitrate i mean 2000 uh, but still it is showing the red color i don't get it like what's happening so what game is this overlay for uh, so this overlay is for coding uh, specifically for coding and designing yeah okay so we can write science and technology yeah that's better science and technology okay 
so it will be coding and designing yeah it's it's better 1080 pixel is better I mean that's sufficient because we don't have to scale too much yeah so that's nice now we can edit it you know what I will just uh, let me copy the link let's see if, if, if I, uh, I can uh, create the overlay on the live stream uh, that'd be a fun thing to do okay I've got the URL I will just paste the URL in the OBS and see if it works let's create a new so it's called coding and designing overlay I will paste the link remove the custom CSS frame per second okay so what should be the, the dimensions I just forgot I just forgot the dimensions now what to do hmm. uh, I think there is option let me see okay so it's 920 by 1080 yeah that can work 920 by 1080 okay uh, transition oh, that's too big that's too big okay so that can work <coughs> okay so let's edit the overlay now so the overlay is on the top of the I mean uh, it's on the top of every other layer so if any element I will add it will uh, directly show in the in the stream itself yeah, that makes sense let's see so yeah we got this canvas in the green color then we got the link and we got a bunch of widgets there is no uh, we don't want uh, these widgets I want to specifically uh, show the yeah display your channel Twitch chat in real time. Yeah, I do want that. Yes, I do want that thing to show. Who doesn't want to show the chat? Okay, uh, so it will show up here. Let me make the size a bit bigger. Okay, so that I could just see uh, on the OBS like how it will look if the if it is a uh, live message fades away after 30 seconds no it should fade away fade after 10 seconds yeah or maybe 30 um, because uh, currently don't have that much followers on the twitch so let's make a 30 or yeah, 15 is also sufficient or maybe 20 yeah 20 is better message uh, delay uh, message are delayed by 2 seconds yeah that's fine let's make it 3 okay uh, what type of theme do we want mm. okay let's make a uh, custom can work let's make let me save this one just to see how it works on the 
how it works on the okay uh, metal issue is live uh, streaming creative creating a new overlay for twitch stream yeah that's a nice notification so it should show the chat on the on the overlay okay <coughs> let me send another high message or i can check on the stream but if i check on the stream uh, i think so it might decrease the bitrate so i will just check on my mobile okay so i can yeah let's see what's happening now i can decrease the quality over here just to know there's an option so okay i cannot see any chat on the screen i mean on the on the overlay something is wrong with this I show my permanently let's see a background color white uh, enter user improved node no uh, we don't want, we do want to show chat messages from every user <coughs> okay so let's try again uh, tape okay yeah so it shows up yeah nice 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 so I can just track this maybe over here yeah so generally I prefer to keep the keep the webcam at the bottom right corner uh, yeah a message fade I now I think I have to set the message fade at 30 or yeah 40 second makes sense yeah 40 second is much sufficient that uh, background color can be yeah. uh, so I will set the background color to be transparent so we got positioning sizing yeah, opacity you want I can increase uh, the width uh, to 300 that's sufficient yeah that's sufficient okay let me save this settings and now if I send the message again how's everybody doing so it should show the message on the chat on the screen okay so it does show up and yeah, that's great yeah great let's see the, the command twitter we got yeah we can try coffee okay so it does show up it, so it's working perfectly nice and according to settings it should fade after 40 seconds we can customize the uh, font and font looks better fonts yeah that's also fine I we need to decrease the width a bit yeah mm -hmm. we need to work on that one 
uh, everything uh, looks good yeah let's work on the on the size uh, we can go for 280 that can work yeah okay so <coughs> what's next we can add so we have added the chat and it is working perfectly oh there is a layer okay so uh, we can rename this layer if possible All right, no I think we cannot rename this one your channels chat yeah we cannot rename it and that's fine uh, emulate there is no option for the chat I think yeah uh, okay so let's see what else do we got so first of all I will just add all the widgets uh, we have over here uh, countdown from date or a countdown to a date no we don't want that media request no uh, take call yeah we do want that to want yeah yeah okay that's nice uh, I can add uh, this at the top uh, but I'm also thinking that what type of content uh, will be streamed uh, maybe it's a coding one or the design uh, so I think both of in both the cases uh, uh, there is not much uh, content to show in the top one because uh, it is just the header for the software itself uh, so I can add it over here something like this uh, see percentage completion um, that doesn't make any sense yeah con contest can work the minimal one uh, we do need uh, it to be transparent okay so uh, the color is more important thing like what type of color uh, do you want to show uh, like I haven't uh, thought of much like what color I want to show over here Okay, let's change the title. Uh, help me help me run uh, run the run the run live stream. Okay. Uh, set the goal to be yeah hundred looks fine to me. So let me just save the changes and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, I think the size is too small. I have to increase the size uh, we don't want to show the end the date of the end goal or maybe not or maybe we do want to show okay so far now we can just keep it 31 uh, Jan uh, your colors are fine I'm not a big uh, like there's no big deal for the colors yeah, let's see what else do we have okay yeah now we can fix the height 20 50 okay yeah. uh, I think if we select 10 it will not work 20 30 yeah 30 is much better and I think uh, let me save the changes and see yeah 30 I think it is better yeah. yeah that's fine let's see the text settings yeah that's fine also okay so over here we can write, uh, write the 
type uh, widget name tip all yeah let's see the changes I will also change the name of this one uh, like as I have told you earlier like in the previous live stream that uh, the editor of this uh, stream element is not very much impressive uh, because uh, it is possible that uh, my my monitor screen is a bit small but uh, overall you can see what uh, it's still not very uh, responsive just to say uh, like uh, you can see there's a bit of empty spacing uh, so it's a bit hard to me just to like visualize uh, how will how the stuff will look like or uh, what they can do instead uh, they can give the full preview uh, available and then uh, this uh, this model on this right side they can make it uh, maybe uh, drag available so that this people can drag around just to see like uh, maybe if they want to add something on over here so if they can just drag this away uh, so it's more uh, better to visualize yeah okay i can name this twitch chat now save the changes so we have added two things now let's see if it works uh, I will just try Twitter again. So the chat works perfectly. So uh, I can use uh, the same overlay if uh, maybe I do a gaming live stream uh, in future if it possible. Uh, so uh, I'm considering all the possible option like uh, what type of uh, live stream will be uh, will I be doing. Okay, so we got your channel Twitch chat. Yeah, I think we have already added that. Latest subscriber, latest new subscriber, latest resubscriber, total subscriber, recent follower, uh, follower count. Uh, I want to show the total viewers if that's possible. Build custom widget using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Yeah, that might be a lot of work to do display a live update counter from count check command real time event list now top tipper top tipper list Okay, so we can show this uh, like the recent tips if it's possible. Name, current amount, currency, current amount. Yeah, so I think uh, there is option. Uh, the, there is an an emulate option for the tip event. We can try that. Yeah, that looks that looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. Yeah. Fifty. Okay. Uh, let's see. One fifty. Okay. That's nice. Okay. 
uh, but uh, I want to combine both of the things the name uh, yeah the template looks nice uh, we want it to be horizontal yeah okay so here's the height so I can move this over here and top can be 20 pixels and that's no let's make it 12 pixel and the uh, height is 50 sufficient uh, width can be 500 yeah oh let's see Uh, okay, I have to first unlock that one. Uh, tip coal, yeah. If I move this over here, so it should look like that. Uh, it is coming uh, out from this thing. Uh, let's make this 12 pixel yeah and that looks much better <clears throat> no, but I'm still not sure that it will show that a recent tip text uh, which is showing right now uh, I think it's uh, very high at the top let me change the overlay a bit so this is the display capture so if I do something like this but it will uh, there is a lot of empty space now I can add a uh, I can add a background image if, uh, so what background image should we add string let's see no uh, that's Look out live. Hope the bitrate is very low. Uh, what's happening now? Earlier the bit rate was very low. Uh, I was just trying to uh, get the image from the internet. Okay, so I will add the image later on. Uh, so we got this empty space. Uh, yeah, but the chat can show up over here. Let's see. Hello, let's try the message and see if it works. Okay, uh, so yeah, that space can be used for the chat. Uh, I need to make the text color, or I can uh, use a background image. Then I don't have to make the text color uh, white. Uh, but I have to make sure like which uh, background image will work. so there is empty space at the bottom of the display capture and on the left side we can use the whole space for the chat 
but if it's only possible if there is uh, active chat we can't even customize the the camera like uh, it, the uh, it is like the position is all fixed Okay, so I have set the video camera settings as default and the okay so this is the so we uh, like if we calculate that uh, over here we can show the the webcam and of this much uh, empty space we got and over here also i mean uh, like if i okay i cannot uh, show the cursor now but like uh, uh like uh, uh, the this much area is still uh, cover, pending to be covered and currently it is just blank uh, because I have shortened the size of the display capture, the actual screen. Mm, okay, let's see like what uh, other widgets we can add. It's a good thing that we can show a bunch of different widgets. Uh, like it makes uh, the stream more active. Mm, we can show followers like who have followed us the recent uh, where it is recent 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 follower yeah recent followers uh, we can add this at the center I just want to make the this overlay a bit simple not too fancy I can show this over here yeah let me save this uh, okay so it looks something like this latest follower uh, I can add uh, some animation so there is not much of animation uh, enter animation bounce in okay so we can use animation zoom out and zoom in okay so over here let me try bounce in you can try different variations and I have saved the uh, overlay now let's see emulate a uh, follow event now uh, it doesn't show any animation that's strange latest follower expecting something else we can add uh, 
uh, I can show the discord invite uh, yeah that can work I mean because it, uh, there is empty space at the top uh, right corner so we can use it over there Uh, I can try the alert box uh, do you guys know uh, if there is any way to uh, add a, what is called uh, the viewers like we can show the viewers directly on the stream itself is there any widget uh, like let me know because I cannot find it over here We can try the alert box widget if it can work. Mute audio in this editor. Mute. So this is the widget. Uh, like uh, and another thing uh, about this uh, editor is that we, uh, generally uh, you see the the softwares in which we do the uh, user less, uh, design, the design work in that we have option called uh, alignment that we can align the element uh, with respect to uh, other element or we can align the element itself uh, like the center uh, horizontally or vertically so like those feature uh, is missing from this um, uh, from this website also because it's very hard to imagine like what would be the center uh, until and unless we do uh, calculations uh, uh, other than that it's not possible to do it over here so okay we do want a follower event uh, we do want a subscriber event chair we don't want that host uh, wait no we don't want that event also uh, because it's very hard to uh, all uh, design those event specifically okay so let's give a, a demo try like how it will look like uh, for the event <laughs> yeah that's nice uh, but I might have to change the change the animation okay so what's uh, with the way uh, not the way a host okay so we can just uh, um, tick mark all of them it's not a bad option okay so I'll just save the overlay and uh, you can see the see on the stream itself so I'll hit follow event and let's see <laughs> yeah so you can see directly on the stream that's nice okay uh, emulate a tip event uh, now the thing uh, which is need to be noticed that okay yeah that's fine so earlier i was just trying to say that because it uh, earlier the this uh, tipping was 150 uh, so i thought it would increase to 200 but it remained to uh, it went to zero and then it incremented to 50 so i uh, now i think we don't need to show uh, this follower over here we can delete that okay so i'll do that first and uh, alert box uh, okay so we can just leave that uh, i will customize this alert box later on first of all i need to delete this one And I think it's not even in the center. I have to test it again. Latest follower lead. Or I can hide it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because it's already really hard to know there's 
you see now there is not even option to undo the changes that's another disadvantage you can say okay or maybe you can just press ctrl z if it can work no it doesn't work anyway so we got this tip code yeah i can lock that the recent tip uh, we can also lock that yeah now we need to customize the alert box so now i will just uh, visualize and see uh, like is it real, uh, really the center or not uh, okay, well now let's see if it is in the center or not i will just save the changes and just i will and this time i will try the thus okay so i will try the host event So I think it looks uh, in the center. Uh, now I have to just uh, animate those things. Okay, so there is an option to center the widget itself. That's nice. Okay, so what else we can add? So I think that's all uh, like we can add over here because I don't see any option to you know, to customize this. And so I'll just give it a final test and see if it works. So I'll try with the tip event again with the 50. Yeah, I, like I don't see any option to just customize this. Uh, this uh, emote also okay now let's try with the chair that's a too dramatic sound oh I have disabled desktop on you that's bad okay so I'll just play all the all that events again So that's the tip event and now this is the okay so let, let me hide that so this is the chair emulator nice okay and now the host event and the follow event nice now we just need to see like how we can customize it We are showing the, the people who tip uh, tip the stream, the the status bar, the chat, the alert box.
ok no we don't want that tools session data goal ok so there is one follower account now like is this the data dummy data or we can customize it okay so we can customize it that's nice that's nice okay uh, tip code progress uh, follower code progress table uh, let us subscribe our channel So we can write 100 save changes. The total amount to our courses. Okay, so it should be zero. Yeah. Okay, insert text. Uh, and I have a really uh, like uh, since I mentioned earlier that uh, when I just added the the, the tip uh, that tip graph, so, uh, like that time I haven't really thought like uh, what background color or the color should I select because uh, even. Uh, there is no uh, you call the the brand color for the stream itself okay we can add an image but there is like how we can customize the the alert box I also need to figure out like what type of content do I need to add at the bottom because on the left side uh, I can resize the chat uh, yeah I can resize the chat I can also increase the size of the the people who have who have tipped uh, recently so that uh, we can just at least cover the cover the top section which uh, which uh, the display covers Yeah. Uh, the Kappa Gen widget allows you to take emote from the chat on a stream. No, we don't want that. let me edit the the chat widget I need to increase the height I don't want the video uh, or I, I also don't want the image no we don't want the text also your text to go there yeah uh, do you want the add text really because it depends like what type of stream I want to do 
like uh, is the stream is uh, maybe where I am building a custom application for a specific project. Uh, in that case, I might, might want to show some kind of stats. So I can just duplicate the stream if I, uh, I mean, I can duplicate the, the overlay if I want to do. Okay, so now I can just save the changes. Well, I just uh, like I had just seen it uh, just a bunch of time that whenever I just hit the save, excuse me. So whenever I just hit the save button, uh, all the changes ref reflect immediately on the OBS also, like just at the click of a button. Yeah, that's nice. So I need to edit the. So for now I can uh, unlock all of them because I have to make change, a bit of changes to every uh, widget now. Let's see what's happening in the chat. Okay, uh, let's try this. Okay, yeah, I need to fix that one immediately. Uh, I can find an image, but I will download it and then upload it. So if I even download the image, I have to upload that image on the on the uh, on the OBS because um, even though it's a static image, uh, it it will upload that image again and again. Uh, like it will stream that image again and again, so that will uh, increase the load on the uh, system also. So in the, uh, instead of that, I can just create an, another overlay on the stream elements and add that. That'd be more easy. Yeah. Even in that case, I can just uh, quickly find a new image every time and then uh, and then quickly change the image. So that'd be more helpful. Now let's change the size. Okay, so like the height can be eight hundred. Uh, top can be so we can try with uh, 100 for now let's see where it shows up uh, let's let me save it first of all okay let me try it again hello So I will okay. So it is uh, overlapping the webcam. So that's not that's not a good thing. Uh, so I can try with the hmm, with the fifty. And I also need to make this fifty because that's uh, it's uh, it seems like it's touching the the top of the the top of the, the canvas. So that's not a good thing also. Let's see if we use simple design. No, we don't want to use that much simple design. We want it to be condensed only. Okay, positioning. Uh, we might not be able to add 50 because it might uh, overlap the, the display capture itself. Uh, we can Try maybe 15 and that's not much okay let's go for 20 
So, and I will remove this over here. Not that much. Okay, so we can uh, go for 700 pixel. Oops. I can go for 700 pixel and this should be 20 okay so it, it will give a better spacing for the for the recent tips uh, and the and the tip code itself and it will also cover the whole spacing for the top area yeah that's fine let me just test the chat also quickly okay so the chat looks nice uh, we got let me try with hi hi hello let me just add a bunch of text I just want to see like uh, how much it looks like okay <laughs> I know I'm just uh, sending a bunch of messages in the chat okay so it uh, it just ends up uh, along with the at the same height as of the display capture but uh, now the tip uh, the tip goal uh, doesn't look at the center so we can try maybe 16 pixel uh, yeah i think that is that looks in the center yeah that looks much better now we can customize this one also so i have to just change the the top and the the left settings in the position Okay, so the top was 16 pixel and the width is now 700 okay and if we save the changes okay mm -hmm. let's see now I will shoot a tip event okay okay yeah so it, it did show up nice 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 perfect perfect so it's a nice thing just to make changes to the overlay on the flight you know the doing on the live stream itself it's nice it's fun thing to do let me clear the chat for a sec just a second okay is the option to clear the chat
okay so there is also option for time step that's nice okay so let me show the screen like how does it looks okay so here it is <laughs> like you can see i was just uh, throwing a bunch of random messages just to test like how does the overlay looks like okay yeah, here's option clear chat nice so the chat is cleared i will just send another hello message nice okay yeah so the hello message does show up on the on the stream but uh, like on the stream as you can see it is still a bit of touching the the webcam also i need to fix that thing also uh, i can increase and decrease the five pixel uh, from the top that if that can work so message fade after 40 seconds message are delayed by three in <coughs> three seconds yeah that's fine now all i need is to add a background image so i will just search the background image on my phone because i don't want to uh, decrease the bitrate for the stream i will also uh, in between show you my screen uh, i mean not the screen actually okay so I'm, I'm using unsplash to uh, to find the image so after uh, finding the image i will just drop the link in the ch uh, twitch chat so that you can also see like which image i will be using and then i will be uh, i will download that image after opening the link on the on the laptop Uh, by the way do you have any suggestion for the images like uh, which term or which keyword should i use to search the image uh, i'm using the term uh, workstation to search the image uh, if you, you can see the screen on my mobile Uh, I want a bit of dark theme uh, for my for the wallpaper. I haven't found any image yet yeah this can work uh, I think it's a bit of dark and it looks nice and I can share this link I hope I think I have to copy the link then I will not be able to share the link directly yeah this is also much better um, Yeah, this one is much better yeah okay so i will just uh, show the both of the images like which one is better now how can i send the chat message 
okay so here's the chat so I'm just sending another hi message from my mobile okay so it shows up so as you can see I'm sending hi message from my mobile and paste I'm pasting the link okay so it shows up no I don't know which link was this okay so we have still no views right now yeah that's fine we are just uh, working on the overlay and fixing few things okay so these are the two links uh, we can try one by one or maybe first of all since uh, this one is complete uh, I, I can close this one and I, let me save it for a sec again now I can create a new overlay uh, and inside that I can work so I can that overlay behind uh, like below all the over uh, layers now I'm still thinking like what should I add at the bottom of the display capture like if you have any suggestions I'm open to your suggestions let me know like what should I use Uh, I'm still thinking uh, and uh, since uh, I'm also thinking like what should be the placement of the webcam uh, uh, maybe I can move this webcam over here something like this on the left side and, uh, and move this over here yeah or just expand it but if I expand I have to uh, move it over here and I don't want that so the possible option is that this only we are also showing the Okay, so I'll create a new overlay and uh, with, with, with just a simple uh, image, nothing else. Uh, image. So since there are two images, I will just name it as image one and image two, and uh, the dimension will be same, 1080 pixel. Okay, and we will edit this. And I will also quickly add the new overlay in the OBS so that we can do live testing of that specific overlay. Let me move that overlay at the background so you might be able to see the. let me lock that also here yeah. so I have to lock all the screens just to avoid to move the stuff here and there so we got let me copy the URL yeah I will paste the URL okay now I will download the image
I hope it doesn't affect the bit rate. Nice. Okay, I will download the image. Now I will also quickly download the second image just to see like which one can work. Oops, the pack, the bitrate is very uh, too low. It is at 500. Okay, so both the image has been downloaded. Now we can quickly try the image and see if it works. Okay, so I will select the image. Uh, I will uh, try. Uh, okay, so we only get thousand megabytes. That's too low. That's sad. But if they can add, uh, allow the option, maybe we can uh, add the image or video source using the URL. That can work. Okay, so I'll try with this one. Uh, I like this one so, uh, image. Uh, I can upload both the images. Uh, it's no big deal. Okay, upload. I hope it doesn't crop or uh, decrease the quality. I will upload the second image also. I think they do affect the the quality of the size uh, the image because okay or not maybe so we have added the image and now i will just expand this image to full size but first of all i will just save the image and see how it looks on the on the OBS okay so I think now you can see the image in the OBS it is looking very small and tiny we need to increase the size okay so the height can be this I hope it's okay. Uh, and this rules of canvas nine 
oops it's one two eight zero no so like what's the actual size of the canvas like i don't even know So okay, do it over here also. <laughs> we'll center the widget. Okay, so I think uh, there is the size is too big now. Uh, let's go with um, now. Let's try centering it. Okay. Uh, so now make it forty. Uh, there is still uh, no so it's on the both side on the okay now D seven okay. 22 yeah perfect now let me save this now let me just customize the Okay, so it looks something like this now uh, but since there is this yellowish light which doesn't look good So what I can do, I can create a separate overlay. Maybe I can keep this overlay for this purpose. I mean, it, it's not a, a bad option. I hope there's option for duplicate. Okay, we can duplicate it. Okay move to studio mode for a second okay so this overlay is the first one and now this is the second way second one i mean you cannot see any difference but uh, i will just make few changes right now let me change the image now because we have set the dimensions let's change the image see with the chat if I send any chat messages okay I think I need to still make the text color white hmm. okay I will do that later on Uh, or what I can do, I can split all the different overlay. Maybe there is one overlay for the uh, for the chat and another overlay for the for the recent uh, uh, recent tips uh, and recent 
when the tip cold. There will be much more uh, customizable. Uh, I hope so, but uh, it might might be difficult for uh, for customizations. Let me try this one. If I do something like this, and uh, now the problem is with the. With that thing so uh, like the possible option is that uh, I can only use um, OBS elements or like or blocks whatever they call uh, for the webcam and the display capture or maybe game chat capture anything uh, if I like I cannot add any of the blocks or text message directly on the uh, in from directly from the OBS I have to use uh, overlay for that. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, I can create a new overlay for the game. Let's search for Okay, so I will customize that overlay later on. Uh, I will work on this one first of all. to change the text color of the chat but uh, there are two possible options uh, the first one is uh, maybe uh, where we are using a uh, full screen as the display capture in that case we need to set the background color to something black yes that is only possible option Uh, yeah so i got a better idea now i will just quickly fix this one and then i will duplicate the overlay and then i that overlay i will use for uh, when i will i am uh, using display capture as full screen so we need the text color to be black nice i will save those changes and test these changes quickly okay now it is black and it's working perfectly let me see yeah I still need to work on that thing But uh, for this one, uh, let me quickly switch to this one. But over here, it works perfectly. 
uh, I mean the background is still not very convincing I need to find a perfect background image now over here it works perfectly with the black text or maybe the text color white looks more perfect over here Yeah, the white looks much better i will create a duplicate uh, then i will use the black color in that uh, so what should i name this one uh, tip, uh, tips plus, plus chat plus screen plus cam okay now i can rename this one okay i can rename it text chat uh, screen now uh, i can in the bracket i can write 80 uh, percent okay now i can rename this I can write tips plus chat plus screen in the bracket I can write 100% because it is covering the whole screen uh, and plus can now I will use the same name for the overlays just to get the hint like what uh, overlay I'm using and where I'm using it And I'm also using the Discord voice, so it might show up uh, on the on this section over here, the part which I'm highlighting using my cursor. So it might show over here. I need to duplicate this one uh, where platform do you duplicate no, I want to end that to H only awesome it is loading the overlay now perfect and what is showing last updated an hour ago that's strange so we can like i i use the same name uh, for in the obs for the scenes i will just use the same name over here just to be more helpful and descriptive can edit this one uh, I'm not sure how to use uh, like create the overlay for where the screen size would be 100% in the width and height because uh, in that case we have to make the background color of the the chat and the tag the tips uh, solid color yeah And I don't know how to do that. I mean, uh, it might be very hard to do. Yeah, so for 
Oh, I can go for this one. Let me just test this again. Yeah, it looks good, not bad. I can uh, at the bottom. I can add few sponsored links or maybe the project I want uh, users to get notified about. Uh, I should add the Discord invite over here. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Oh yeah. Let me do that first. Okay, so how should I do that? Uh, in, I cannot do that using overlay, but since I will get the link of that thing, yeah, that can work. Yeah. Let me go to stream stream kit Discord app overlay. Yeah, I need to fix this one. Oh my god, I just almost forgot. I need to fix that one. We can play some background music on my phone. Let's try to play some background music. I hope it doesn't interrupt the notification. Uh, yep. Let's play some music. And I hope like when I play the background music it also doesn't uh, show a copyright claim on the Twitch or on the YouTube because that really sucks. Let's see, okay, search music. Yeah, see I told you I really don't want that thing to show. Mm. Uh, I can do uh, alarms only for the notification that might work. Okay, so I write uh, search music for chill. Uh, I can. Uh, is there any option for filtering over here? Just leave that. Um, I'm afraid that um, Twitch might show and uh, it, it, they might send me a, a, a copyright strike. I don't want that. So now what uh, I was, yeah, I need to fix this. I think it is in the data. I think so. There's a just a dummy data. So what is showing? It shouldn't show that. I can update my goal. Okay, so uh, just to update my goal, I have to edit the overlay itself. Now that's really bad. Really bad.
no, there are no recent tips and still it is showing those people okay so it has been reset now that's nice now yeah so if anyone wants to um, drop few dollars uh, they can just uh, just tip me uh, the link is in the chat i'll just quickly drop the link yeah so you can just visit this url and drop a few bucks Okay, so let me save the overlay. I definitely need to fix the the background. Yeah, I need really um, really really dark image. Uh, so since uh, I can use space images because uh, in space everywhere is almost dark. Yeah, it's a good idea to use space images. In the meantime, let me integrate at the Discord invite URL. Uh, I earlier also tried to install that, but that time it didn't work that much. Uh, I don't know. I think there is a, there was some kind of a bug. So I have to run the desktop and I don't want that. Okay, so I'll do that thing later on. Since I'm already signed in on my browser, so at least it should work. Yeah, it should work. Let me see if uh, I have that thing on the machine like i did try to use it earlier but it didn't work okay so here's the link i hope it worked yeah see i told you it doesn't work uh, it shows online true logo white uh, text color text size and i think this is the link i mean the the server id uh, but it still doesn't work i use small editor i speaking in my but it is not working okay so that was fun uh, creating a custom overlay and yeah so at the bottom i think i can uh, like i can add a so let me just uh, do copy add this one over here Browser Discord Server Status I have to check the dimension of this one Like I'm not sure uh, like what are the dimensions
okay so it is 312 by 64 nice okay so we can add something like this over here and it should work yeah but it is still not working uh, properly yeah i think uh, there might be some pro let me see if i can get the server id from the from my mobile app I don't think so that's possible right now but I'm still checking it uh, channels no product no overall nope there is no option of Instant invites. So I can show in instant invites, but uh, since uh, Discord has this awesome widget which is not working, well, I can ask them. Uh, I can just drop them an email. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I think it's fun uh, doing this live stream and yeah, I think it's more than in one hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I think we did create a lot of stuff. Um, uh, I still need to work on the this, this background image. So I'll just uh, find this background image later on. Uh, I will most probably use some kind of a space image. Uh, because uh, I am looking for a more a ba blackish background color, yeah. So that's why. So anyway, so th again, thank you very much for joining in, and I will see you in next live stream. So bye bye.